Good morning out there, everybody, and Merry Christmas. Hope everyone is having an amazing holiday so far and that Santa has been really good to all you. Welcome back to Prehistore Companions. I'm Dylan, and today this is part one of the BOA tank build. I'm going to show just briefly the starting uh, stages of what I'm doing to a 40-gallon exoterra tank that I have and how I'm starting to customize everything for my BOA constrictor Linguini. almost at 200 subscribers so thank you guys so much for choosing to like and subscribe to my channel really means the world to me uh, I, I enjoy the fact that you guys are enjoying the content and interested about what the things I have going on and what I'm doing with my reptiles if there is content that you would be interested in me showing, feel free to drop a comment down below. I love hearing from my viewers and I like reading your guys' responses, your ideas, so feel free to share with me what you're thinking, what you'd like to see more of on the channel. So like I said, today will only be a part one, the beginning stages and phases of what we're doing with this tank, so definitely stay tuned for part two hopefully in part two we'll actually get the tank all finished up and it's going to turn out amazing i'm already really happy with the results and how things are turning out so stay tuned for that i've almost just got about 100 videos posted from the time i started doing youtube almost two years ago now i've almost got 100 videos so on the 100th video uh for the first five people to comment on the video uh, I'll ask for your information. I'm gonna send you guys some stickers, some pre-store companion stickers. So once I get that 100th video up and posted, the first five to comment on the video, I'm gonna send you guys some stickers. Okay, so I'm out in the desert behind my parents' house and I'm out here just kind of browsing around for uh, branches, uh, thick branches, different cool designs, something that it, I think that I could use for the boa habitat or whatever I intend to put in this 40 gallon tank. So I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled, browse around a little bit and see what I can find. So I found this mesquite bush that seems to have some pretty interesting forms and branches. I think I'll cut, I brought a saw, a hand saw, to cut some of the thicker portions off. Of course, this type of bush has a bunch of needles kind of all over it, so I will need to process it and clean it up sand some pieces, make sure that it's safe to incorporate into the environment. Once I cut a piece that I like, a section, yeah, I'll take all the dead leaves and material I don't want on it. I'll wash it up real good and then I'll throw it in the oven at about 375 degrees, between 350, 375 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes to kill anything that might be potentially harmful in the wood. So I definitely really want to treat it good and make sure that there's no sharp, jagged edges, everything smooth before I incorporate any piece of found wood into a reptile environment. Okay, so we have here our 40 gallon Exoterra tank that we're going to customize. I got this thing all cleaned out. I took off one of the doors so it's a little more accessible to work with. I got our wood all treated, heat treated, and sanded, super smooth and looks really good. So now I just got to conceptualize. I have to kind of play around with the different branches and things that I have and see how it functions, how I want everything to operate. I also have here some PVC pipe that I'll use for plants. I'll go ahead and foam this wherever I think looks interesting in here and use this to plant the Sagonium and Pothos. And then I have a drain there to drain out excess water and to prevent any critters from crawling up underneath there. So we'll play around with the form and see how I want everything to function in here. And we'll go ahead and start foaming. Let that foam cure. Once everything is cured, I can go ahead and start carving to create more jagged rock-like forms that will look interesting and uh, allow the sanded grout or extra materials, silicone, the grout to hold on and bite onto the foam. Uh, 
So I'll talk more about that once we get to that step. But for now, let's go ahead and just play around. Let me figure out how I want everything to look in here. Then we'll start foaming. So I jumped ahead just a little bit here, always get a little too ahead of myself, but I've started really foaming the background. I really want to try and incorporate a lot of different use of positive and negative space, where I still can see through parts of the glass and have interesting rock formations. I've started going crazy with the foam in the background. It's okay to spray a lot more foam because once this cures, I'm going to take a utility blade and start carving away to create more jagged rock formations and exposing the foam underneath the top layer so it's more porous and I can actually get the grout or silicone to really bite onto the foam and hang on there much better. So thank you guys for checking in today's video. Hope you're interested in liking the beginning stages of the Boa Tank build. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Have an amazing Christmas, happy holidays, an amazing new year, and stay safe, love everybody, love each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.